um, but something I've been wanting to try it for a long time. Um, Son of Apache um, barbecue, portable barbecue. Um, I think it's also called the Grilletto. Um, thought I'd take the opportunity to film this outside today because it's a nice sunny day. Um, we'll probably get this going later on to finish off the video. Um, but it is a bit blustery, so if there's a bit of wind noise, I'll apologise in advance for that. Um, so yeah, Son of Apache. Really good bit of design. I saw it years ago. Um, in the UK, there's not really any distributors. Um, I picked this up off Amazon. Um, it's distributed by a company in, in Germany. You can see up on the label up there. Um, but really good little product. What's unique about this is, I guess, the lighting mechanism. So you can fold that up, and I'll show you all this in a minute, but you can fold that up and ignite your coals and it burns out your chimney really intensely and then you open it up cook and when you want to finish you can shut it up and uh, put it in a little pouch to snuff out um, the remaining sort of embers um, as i say really good product i've always well i've always thought it looked like a good product we'll see if it works later on um, but not really that big in europe i couldn't find that many people distributing it um, on the bottom here it says voted one world's number one portable grill by the RV and tailgaters worldwide, whoever they are. Tailgaters spelt like uh, alligators, I think. Not sure if that's on purpose. And yeah, I mean the thing about barbecues is you always wait for them to get up to heat. This is promising seven minutes. Uh, reading on reviews on, online, I think there's a bit of a knack to it. Um, but we'll look at that in a minute. Um, so just looking around the box here, um, go to the key features, 10 minutes cleaning, also says you can, where is it, use a bake oven. I hadn't picked that up before, I'm not quite sure how that's going to work, but we'll take a look at that. Um, cast iron, or sorry, heavy gauge stamped stainless steel construction, um, 172 square inches of cooking space, I don't honestly know whether that's good or not. Cast iron, grill, um, and on the back, You've got the instructions, and maybe I'll cut in a photo of that so you can you can take read that at your leisure. But it shows basically how you stick the uh, or load the um, the charcoal into the sides, light at the bottom, and then it functions like a chimney. Okay, well let's see what's in the box. So in the box we've got a little DVD. I'm not sure if I'll bother watching that, but it might be interesting. I'll watch it if I have any problems. Some operating instructions showing loading up briquettes there. Now I think I've read online that actual charcoal works better, but I'm going to play with that. We've got the the snuff out pouch here. So obviously the, the box looks a bit small, but obviously it builds up because that's that's quite a lot bigger than the the poor styrene box there and then you've got so that's how the box comes itself. packaged it's loaded up with goodies inside so let's just gently open it out we've got a little bottom section with a handle now I'm guessing that handle needs to be flipped around to the other side you've got this which is currently a bit of a mystery to me and then you've got the legs and handles, so it's not looking too complicated. I will refer to the instructions. Okay, so this element is multi-purpose and it's used for lifting the grills like that, so we know what that's for. And this guy, I think it's going to slot under the bottom. I'm just going to get a screwdriver and flip that um, handle around. Right, so just by looking at the little pictograms I can tell the longer handles go to the top and the shorter to the bottom. So it's just going to fold the camera angle a little bit so you can see um, the unit there. It's got its legs on now. The top ones are very tightly spring-loaded. The bottom ones are push fit, um, not quite as uh, robustly fitting but we'll see how that fares. So when you go to use it, you're basically folding those legs down. Opening out, like so. 
the grill elements go in with the slots. Like so. You can use this little tool to lift them out of position and you're going to load it with your charcoal. To light it, you're going to fold it up like that. If you're going to store it, this guy goes on the top. These go up. And for the purposes of lighting, you're going to put your, your fire lighters, your wood, in there to create the chimney effect upwards. When you're done, you shut it up again, you put this top piece on, legs go up like that. And then you're going to put it in your snuff out package. Like so. We're going to give the barbecue a little go. Um, I've picked up some briquettes, although I don't think they're probably the best thing to use on these. I think lump wood's better. Although the only lump wood I could get was treated, so I'm going to go with the untreated briquettes initially, and if I fail, I'll get on to that. Right, so we'll get it out of the bag. Put down the legs. Actually, we'll swap it around the other way. Open up the briquettes. Okay. So I'm going to make a small fire in the bottom tray here. And I'm going to pack each side with briquettes. Now I'm not that bothered about wastage because when you close it, it snuffs it out and hopefully you can reuse those um, unused briquettes. Okay, so I think that's pretty well packed. So these um, cast iron grills I'd normally probably give him a wash because obviously they, they're fresh out of the factory. Um, but because it's going to be burnt and heated so intensely, I don't think that's necessary. Okay, so I'll shut that up. And I'll build my little fire in this tray. Now I'm going to use some fire lighters for this. That's lit. It's just coming up to five past five, so I'll put the timer on there. Let's see how that goes. So we're pretty much at the seven minute mark, so according to the uh, literature, probably right about the right time to think about cooking, or certainly opening it up. Um, looking down the top, I can see it's still got a lot of flames in it. Um, the coals are whitening, or the briquettes are right whitening a little bit. But I think I'm probably just gonna give it a few more minutes just to try and get it all just white and glowing. At the 10 minute mark. Um, most of the coals are sort of getting white edges on them. It hasn't completely spread throughout, but I'm taking that as probably uh, something I'll get a feel for as we use this more often. But I'm keen to start cooking, so let's open it up and see how it looks. Right, that looks pretty hot actually. Okay, 
So what I'm noticing is there's a lot of heat towards the centre, but not so much at the edges. So maybe in hindsight I should have let the fire spread more. I've popped in a couple of extra coals, um, so maybe that was another thing. Maybe it could have been packed a bit more. Um, but the heat's spreading out, and I'm just having to adjust this accordingly. Okay, so things are coming on nicely now. I've dropped each um, grill down one space, um, just to sort of up the heat. I think I was wrong to take it all the way to the top. Um, things are going along nicely. The whiteness is spreading through the coals. I've put, popped a couple of extra ones at the edge there to try and keep things going a bit. Definitely should have got more coals on, jammed them into the grills, I think, and um, also let them heat up for a little bit longer, but not bad for a first effort. So I think that's the first load done. Um, we'll get this back into the, into the garden for people to eat. Um, I'll just quickly show you how um, this is tidied up at the end of a end of use. I'm going to reload it actually and try and build it again see if I can get more even heat distribution on a second go. Um, but I thought I'd just show you how it's snuffed out um, before I do that just to finish off the video. Raise up the sides. This top plate goes in. The handles can come up. And this is all, none of anything I've touched just then was hot. And then you can put it into the snuff out bag. Which seems a slightly strange thing to do, to put something smoking into a, a bag. So we've uh, finished off cooking for the day. Um, we've packed it up once and for all. I did load it up again. Um, worked much better with a sort of a, a tighter pack of briquettes um, and I brought it back to life and we had sort of several more um, sort of rounds of food if you will. Um, popped it away, it's now cooling. Um, it is insanely hot in the snuff out pouch um, so I always thought this was something you could pop straight in the boot of your car but I think that would probably be um, possibly unwise. Um, it was sort of a little bit of smoke coming out so obviously this seal isn't perfect but um, it seems to be cooling off nicely now obviously the coals haven't been used um, you can shake off all the ashes and uh, use those coals again so first impressions are that this is actually really very good um, it's a clever little design it sort of came to life really quick in terms of uh, getting up the temperature so that was exactly what I hoped for from it um, and yeah very well thought out product um, as I say these aren't very easy to get in the UK um, or certainly there aren't any bricks and mortar retailers but Amazon has uh, several um, maybe I'll pop down the link I use and I think it was £65 delivered which is a lot of money for a small barbecue but I think for something which will hopefully last a good while um, didn't seem too unreasonable so uh, yeah hope that's useful um, very pleased to try this out and uh, and sort of finally get it because I've always wanted one of these um, and I hope that's useful um, if you haven't seen my channel before please check it out um, if you like uh, so everyday carry pen knives, fountain pens um, coffee making kit, quality boots quality footwear denim bit of guitar stuff, got back into that check out the channel if you like this video give it a thumbs up and uh, yeah please subscribe and I'll see you for the next video thank you very much Bye-bye.